there! It's right there! No, he's on the car! It's right there! So now I'm gonna go get some gas because my car has no gas in it. But this thing is scaring me. I'm trying to let out some of this the sizzle on it because it's like expanding. Filled up my gas and I'm filling up my car. But I never really noticed how disgusting the grounds are. Look at all those caterpillars. There was one live one. I don't know where he went though. I hope I didn't step on him. I probably stepped on him. Ew. The more and more that I get into the rebuild of my van, the more I realize that there are so many like basic things that I cannot do or I cannot do very well. So as you can see, I'm literally trying to put gas in my van. It, it has just been sitting, you know, since the car accident and I can't even figure out how to work this gas can in the nozzle. So I'm like, my gosh, I'm so happy that I'm actually doing this now um, to hopefully be prepared later. Bojay. Look out. Tell you like it is so annoying trying to get these bolts out with like this kind of tool because all this stuff is like in the way and you can't really you know so I have to try to get it loose enough to twist with my hands that seems to work better Alright, so 
as you can see, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so freaking tired of popping open these little, um, I guess, cases and finding boats everywhere. Ugh, that part was kind of annoying because I didn't always have the tools. I had to keep switching and stopping and switching and stopping. And, you know, and with my little car accident, it's hard for me to bend in certain spaces. So as you can see, I had to switch sides just to do this other side because it's so hard for me to bend to the left um, without pain. But either way, moving back to these boats, I would seriously suggest like having a full set of like tools um, because I had to keep switching so many of those, um, things and like the ones where I popped off the little top, they were more rounded than the other ones. So I didn't have one to fit that. So I'm trying it right now and it didn't fit. And I'm like, whoa, why are the boats so many different sizes, you know, or why don't I have this size in this container? That's what I was going through right here. So I was just like, let me just continue. Let me just pop all these things off so I can go ahead and know how many more boats I have to work with. Maybe that'll make me feel a little bit better with these boats. But it wasn't really the boats that was just a problem. The problem was um, I didn't have the tools. And because the more I work in my band, the more I, I love it. It's so relaxing, you know, to just see the, um, the improvements that you're doing and things like that. But I would just suggest to get all the tools you need, like literally get them all. Um, so now I'm showing you the bolts and how rounded they are compared to the other ones. So I have to find a smaller something that can fit in there. And right here, I just kind of got annoyed and um, I just started popping the trimming off of those. And I just started breaking it and it was only left. So I got everything from around um the whole thing except for the part that's behind the passenger seat and the driver's seat those are the ones that still had the bolts to it and so for right now I'm gonna um try to see what I have to do to actually remove the seats because I did watch a guy on YouTube and he said it was very very easy you just had to remove the three bolts that was holding the seats together and um and then the seats would come out so I was like okay let me give this a try so now I'm just kind of looking around and trying to see what else I need to pull up that piece right there. Um, it was covering wires. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to leave that down there or not. And it also is was screwed in behind the seats right there. So, yeah, I don't know if I want to keep that or not. So now I'm trying to fit the bolts to see if I can get those seats out. And what I found is that the tool that's on that wrench, that socket thing that I'm using, it's too short. The bolt that's in that seat is longer. And so I couldn't figure out for a minute. I'm like, why won't this go in? It seems like it fits. So it will fit as long as it's not on the tool. But once you try to put the tool in, I guess it's just using up too much space. And so I found that I needed to get more wrenches. But either way, or not wrenches, those little tools. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope that you will stay and subscribe to my channel and watch me finish my rebuild. Enjoy your day.